going to 14 strong early this week because I want to show you how to hit it out of this nasty rough. Let's go. Come on. All right, here we are. I got my drive here on 14, right in the middle of the fairway, setting up my second shot. Sure. Like I said, you have to hit the fairway. What, what are you doing? I'm going to hit my shot here, my second shot on 14. No, no, no. you got to hit your first shot, which is in the rough. you got to play it where it lies. Oh, that's right. that's right. My first shot was in the rough. So let's just leave this one here. Let's go over here and let's play from my first shot because the producer Justin said so, which is right over here in this nasty Victoria National Rough. And I know you're probably playing golf courses that are difficult with this rough as well. So look at this. I've got 193 here, uphill. Probably got to play this about 205, which is a five iron for me. But with this lie, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that five iron. This week, 14 strong is all about the nasty rough here. And I want to start this week 14 strong right here in the fairway. All right, let's get into this. 14 strong, we take one club or one shot situation, right? Every single week and we break it down. I got two scenarios for you here this week from Victoria National the long rough. I'm in the fairway here first, then we're going to move up to the green here on 14. We get into these situations, sometimes you got to take your medicine, right? Get the ball back out and play to that number that you like, right? And for me, that's right around that 100 yard mark. So I've got a pretty nasty lie here. Gosh, I would love to hit my five iron and try to get it up there, but it's not worth the risk. Play conservative. I'm taking my sand wedge here and I'm going to hit a little three-quarter pitch right back out in place. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grip down slightly. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to lean the shaft forward. I got to get the shaft forward here, right? That's going to help that leading edge. So I'm going to get aggressive with the shaft lean. I'm going to play the ball maybe just slightly back of center. And then once again, I'm going to get this top button and my belt buckle, and I'm going to lean it left, okay? Not just the belt buckle, not just the top button, but everything, really important. So I feel like I'm kind of stacked here on my left side. And then from there, I'm going to hinge it up. And as I hinge it up, I see a lot of you, when you start getting this kind of steeper angle, which is needed here out of the rough, you don't get the depth in the left arm. You still got to turn, okay? So let the left arm start to work around. So it's kind of up, early wrist hinge with a turn, but back to Tom here face on, I'm staying left. Okay, I'm not moving over here. And that's going to really set the stage now for the club to come down on kind of that V-shape angle of attack. And I'm going to turn with it. And I'm going to punch the ball down here. Back out and play. Yep, there it is. And you can see how I kind of had a little three-quarter finish. Not a sexy shot, right? But it's an important shot. It should be the shot you hit from here because I have a good lie now from 100 yards to get it up onto that green. Maybe save par. At the very worst, make bogey. All right, let's go to the second shot here. It's part of 14 strong. Up onto the green out of this nasty rough. Let's go. All right, here we are. Green side, 14th hole. Really difficult around this green in that nasty rough again and really almost an impossible shot. As you can see here, Jaron, from your camera here, you can see I got to kind of throw up real high to the front and then just let it run down. So I've got to really hit kind of a mini type of explosion shot. Of course, I've got my 60 here and I'm going to get in there and I'm going to get that face pretty open here, right? You can open it up. You can even grip the club a little bit weaker if you want to. You can move your hands to the left a little bit on the grip you know, versus say over here. And that'll help you rotate that face open as well. So a little weaker grip can help kind of throw the ball up in the air and deaden it from time to time. Now, from there, I got to get down in there like a, like a little bit of a bunker shot. Got to get down in there, kind of get into the lead side. And notice my left knee here as I go through this shot. I'm going to really try to keep the left knee solid. Okay, so I'm going to bring this club in and I'm going to keep this left knee solid and really kind of turn around it like this. Okay, in the golf swing, of course, I'm pushing up, right? I'm getting that full extension. I'm going to use that left knee here as a bit of an anchor, okay, and turn through it. Now, also notice, pretty big backswing, but I'm going to try to kind of leave the energy down here, right? And that shot before, kind of long and lazy, really threw it up in the air, down soft. This one, get some arm swing, get some hinge, 
but then I'm going to try to leave it down and just kind of pop it up using the loft of the face here. So here we go. Let's get down in there. 60 degree and weaken the grip a little if you want. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to use that left knee as that anchor. And then just kind of leave that club head down in there. And like that. See there? Just popped it up. Got it on the green. You can see I jarring that ball just running out. And that's a reasonably good shot from here, you know, 15, 18 feet back up the hill. I would have to just land that right on the top of that knob probably to get that inside eight feet. So face on, really work on that setup, work on that knee, and then just work on leaving it there on this particular shot, pops it up, down soft, cool shot around the green. Let's keep. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And remember, leave a comment if you have any questions. And most importantly, subscribe right here to Travis Fulton Golf so I can help you with your game long term.